first thing I'm going to do is I just go to view network connections on my computer here. I got my ether connection, ethernet connection connected directly uh, to the switch that everything's connected with. I'm going to go to internet protocol version 4, go to properties. I'm just going to temporary change. Well, right now, I even need to be on the internet. So 169.254. I'm just going to do open 100, 100, hit tab, hit tab again. 169.254.100.1. Just uh, as long as the, the first two octets are in the same scheme of the default, we are good to go. So what's great also is that the unit set up where you just type in control.local into the webs once the IP addresses are aligned and it'll log you in right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a, a, a web browser. Here's mine. I'm gonna do actually controller dot local and boom so i didn't even have to put the ip address in it kind of it, it defaults to that and here's our login page so the first time logging in you're going to have to change the password but it, the, just go ahead and type in admin the first time for the password admin admin and then it's going to have you change a new password i'm just going to make it really easy admin one two three four admin one two three four just update password and Boom. All right, so this is your initial setup. It's kind of seamless, just fall. Um, since I have everything connected already, it's gonna allow me to just start scanning everything that's on your switch just to add it to the control box. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and then automatically manage by control box, add all everything, yes. So we're applying all the default settings as well. Automatically add encoders and decoder to system. Yes. So you can see right here, this is our main for page. As you can see, it's searching devices. So boom, found them all. So I have five encoders and five decoders. So it's going to keep searching. So I'm just going to tell it to stop because I already know it already found. So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to hit the search device. It's going to stop. And then it, it's going to ask you if you want to add to your, um, add to your control box. I'm going to hit yes. And then we're going to move up here and boom. So we got our encoders and then they'll start connecting here. Start lighting up. Continue to scan. Oh, there we go. And it found the other ones. See, so you got, I got green lights, so we're good. If, Cause I had two different, between the two different switches, I had, um, between the two, between the two different switches, I had uh, encoders and decoders. That's why it took a little bit to find them. So there we go. So first thing we want to do is, uh, I like to go ahead and label my encoders. Cause I have five sources. Oh, as you can see it already, uh, took one of the, our sources and made it kind of like a default on all the screens. So what you can do is on your encoder, go to the little drop down on the right side here, and you can kind of see what's great. It has a screenshot of what the actual source is. So this is our Blu-ray player. So I'm going to label that Blu-ray, change that. And here also you can see if I want to uh, reboot the transceiver or the encoder, if I want to switch to a decoder, I want a factory set, you can do it all right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just going to go through and label all my encoders. This is a, I think this is a landscape video. This is our Chromecast. I love this feature that there's a screenshot of the actual, so you don't have to look at what's what's what. Okay, go ahead and close that. I'm gonna scroll down, see it's changing right there. This is our, this is a VZB media player. And then, oh, yeah. hit that. And then our last one is, what do we got here? Ah. Xbox, there you go, Call of Duty. That is labeled. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my decoders. And 
since they're all kind of labeled the same, I'm like, which TV goes to which? So obviously I could do some switching right here. So if I switch this decoder, I'm gonna just do a quick switch to let's say landscape. So I'm gonna see which one switches. As you can see the bottom left, that's my TV number, I'm gonna call it number five. Um, technically it's number seven in the video, or yeah, eight in the video wall, but I'm gonna call it number five. So it's easy to uh, find out which one's which. So I'm gonna call this TV five. And then let's go ahead and switch the next one to like Chromecast. Oh, top right, so that's TV two. TV two. I'm just gonna breeze through this now. We'll just go BZB Media, that's TV one up there. TV one, just makes everything very seamless, very organized. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, or Xbox. Xbox is, is right there, so that's TV3. TV3. And then our last one by default is TV4. So that's the first initial setup part. I added all the encoders and decoders and I went through and labeled them and set up how I want them to be labeled. And as you can see, we're in matrix mode. Um, so as you can see on each, also each encoder or these are the decoders, you can change the scaling output, um, the audio, um, just all, uh, even if you need to change the, the network settings of the decoder, but you can just, they're on a default 169254.xx. Uh, the control box knows a scan for those when they're all connected to the same switch. So typically just leave them there. 